Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do another get ready with me slash shop my stash. And also I've received the recent order that I did online. And this is from beautybliss.co.nz, which is a New Zealand based company that sells a lot of drugstore slash high end, also cruelty free and vegan products. And they have their own house brand called Carousel Cosmetics. I do have a few of the brushes and liquid lipstick from the Carousel Cosmetics line. I do love their blending sponge, which I did a soul review on. Recently, they came out with their own pressed eyeshadow and they sell them individually. So I purchased, I think, 10 single eyeshadows and it came like this. I unbox everything else except for this one and this is one of their pressed glitter so obviously it comes in like a tape and product information at the back and then when you open it this is what it looks like and it tells you how long you can have the eyeshadow for and it says it's cruelty free it contains two grams of product this is what it looks like and this pen right here is already pre-magnetic so you don't have to buy an extra magnetic sticker for you to stick on a magnetic palette the names of this eyeshadows are based on a numbering system i have the bone shade i have a black i have a dark brown it's more of a neutral brown i have a warm brown and i have a pop of color and i chose yellow because i feel like i could mix it in with different transition shades and it could create a different shade and I also purchased two shimmers the first one is more of like a pearl finish and then the other one has got more of that golden bronze finish and then three gl pressed glitter shades that they sell so I have the silver pink and this gold is different because it has more of a green based gold so without further ado let's hop right into the video so I'm going to swatch the transition shade first Ooh, that's quite pigmented it's a little bit dry though when you try to finger swatch them so these are the three shades neutral brown is quite pigmented though it has more of a dry formula so it doesn't really show up that much and consistent when you swatch it but once you dip the brush onto the pan it will totally transform initially these are relatively pigmented i could work with that and those are buildable the black is not the blackest i'll tell you that you will need a lot of dipping into i mean it still shows up but it shows up more of a charcoal black as opposed to it being like a full-on intense black which i think is fine because you could always build it up oh these are very soft to the touch so these are the two shimmers oh my goodness that is so pigmented so these are the two shimmers right here as you can see the first one it has more of that pearl silver finish and then the other one has got more of that light golden bronzy tone to it and these are so pigmented and very soft to the touch so now for glitter obviously glitter does not swatch properly on the hand but I'm going to try and pick it up so you could actually pick it up with your finger yeah so this glitter doesn't swatch properly as you can see it's still pretty stuck on my hand and that's about how much i got out of it you would need a sticky base for it to stick onto your eyelid that's pretty much how most glitters are formulated intentionally unless you're trying to create a whole new type of formula just like tatty beauty where you don't really need any primer or any base to apply the glitter then yeah and also obviously that will cost a lot more i'm just gonna quickly prime my lids with a concealer I have not filled in my brows yet so we will do that right after I finish the eyes. So I'm going to use a carousel brush, this is just more of a flat brush. It has a little bit of density to it so that could act as a blender brush as well and I'm going to dip into the shade which is more of a brow bone shade and that is number 202. This magnetic palette is from Shop Miss A, I purchased this a long time ago. So. I think they are still in on the website. 
So this eyeshadow is a little bit powdery when you dip the brush, but it's pigmented and it's blendable. Do you guys remember when I used to use this brush? I have two of these. So this is the Carousel Blender brush. And I'm going to start and pick up the yellow shade. Again, it's pigmented, but it's a little bit powdery. So, oh my gosh, I did not expect that much pigment. So this is going to go above the crease. It's so pigmented. And she's a little bit dusty too, so. Wow, I'm impressed. And also the pens are $6 per piece. So it's definitely very affordable. And they do sell a lot of shades. I believe they have about 20 shades, if I'm not mistaken, or a little bit more. But I only picked up the basic ones that I could start as a foundation base and then if I really like the formula then I will buy more but so far so good I love how blendable it is and also it works well with the brushes that they have so now I am going to pick up a new blender brush so this is just a usual blender brush a dual fiber it doesn't have any name on it but this is from carousel cosmetics and I'm going to pick up the warm shade oh my gosh that is also pigmented and I'm going to try and blend that along the crease and kind of wing it out a little bit. I'm being very light-handed because I don't want like a intense pigmentation, but that really blends well with the yellow that we had. And then I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to pick up a little bit of that neutral brown. Again, it's very pigmented, which I am so blown away by. So I'm going to focus that more on the outer part of the V. And in the inner portion of the lid. And then I'm going to go back to that red i mean warm brown shade to blend out the edges and then i'm going on the yellow shade that we had before to blend the out to parts of the lid so the eyes will look something like that and then i really wanted to Hmm. play with this shade right here which is more of that champagne gold tone and I am going to pick up another carousel brush and this one is just a flat shader brush and I didn't put any primer whatsoever on that shimmer and it's showing up really nice so I'm going to bring that all the way up and then I am going to go back to that neutral brown shade just to blend. I might incorporate a little bit of glitter. So we are going to pick up this silicone brush that we have and maybe add a little bit of that pink glitter. Oh, it created a little bit of a scattered glitter look. I actually quite like that. It added a little bit of dimension to the look that we have. And these glitter shadows are picking up quite well. So I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows, apply some mascara. I'm not going to do any false lashes because I kind of like this soft spotlight look. And I'll be right back to do our entire face. For foundation today, I shopped my stash and I have not used this for a very long time. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel Foundation. You could actually purchase Flower Beauty from Chemist Warehouse New Zealand website. 
which I'm amazed about because I actually got this from the chemist warehouse when I went to Australia and I was trying to google it and I did not realize that chemist warehouse has got a warehouse in Auckland where you could purchase some of the flower beauty products which is kind of exciting this foundation is quite nice this is honestly the best tube for the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation so do we gives you a nice coverage the only problem is that it doesn't last as long as the Anastasia but then given the fact that this has got an SPF of 15 so I'm going to apply my contour first and this is the Rimmel Insta Duo Contour Stick I love this and I use this for every day Oops. so I'm gonna lather my face in this to compensate the fact that our face is a little bit lighter than our body I'm gonna add a little bit more because I feel like it didn't really do a lot especially on the cheek area For concealer today, I am going to retry this Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I do know for a fact that this didn't really work on me, but I will try it again. So I will try to do one eye at a time because based on what I remember, it kind of dried rather quickly on my skin. Well, that's actually quite pretty. I feel like when I first use this concealer I blended it straight away that nothing really got covered and also it looked a little bit too cakey so letting it sit for maybe I don't know like 10 seconds helps and then blending it out so I'm going to try and pop a little bit more especially on this area right here and I do apologize if my eyes are a little bit red it's because allergy <laughs> I'm try I've been trying to stop myself from sneezing for powder today I am going to go and use the Arzime loose powder I'm just gonna dunk it on like a makeup surface that I could find and then I've been loving setting my face with a powder puff this is just from the brand called Kala which I believe you can purchase from shop Miss A as well and I love this powder puff because it really presses in the powder basically I only do that on my under eye area because I really have bad lines on that area but the rest of my face are fine so I'm just gonna quickly set it with a brush one thing I like about this foundation is that once you set it it doesn't look matte or overly heavy on the skin it still has that dew and the glow which is quite nice only downside of using a loose powder is that it gets all over your top especially if you're wearing black so now i'm gonna move on to bronzing my face i am going to use my physician's formula butter bronzer i have not used this for quite some time so this is really gonna bronze our skin up and help with the pain, paleness that I have at the moment and I do love the fact that you could build this up in person I don't look that crazy pale but for some reason on camera I look pretty washed out I think it's because of these lights I want to add a little bit more bronze and this one has got more of a red neutral undertone so I'm just gonna apply that above the bronzer and this one smells like chocolate i'm also gonna use this palette for my blush as well i'm going to dip into the blush this has a little bit of sheen and just be careful because this is very pigmented and then you could easily just fix that by running over your blender around the surface or the areas where you kind of went too far for highlighter i guess since i'm already here i might as well use the same one and i am going 
to pick up the metal shade it has a little bit of pink to it but i guess that that would tie in with a pink glitter that we use So now moving on to the lower lash line, I am going to go back to the eyeshadow palette and apply the yellow. Once again, I'm going to try to put that a little bit lower. I have this dense packing brush and I'm going to go to that warmer brown and connect that to the outer V. And that's basically it for the lower lash line. And for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to go to that pearl shade that we have. Wow, that is so pigmented. So I'm going to mix in a little bit of that gold on top of that. Where's my mascara gone? Just quickly for the lower lash line. I am going to fill it in with the Wet n Wild color icon and then for the lips I have the Carousel Matte Liquid Lipstick and this one is in the shade Milkshake. This is a little bit more on the very nude peachy lip. So what I like to do is apply the most on the center. I like to apply a little bit of gloss. And this is just a lumping gloss from Elf. And here is my final makeup look. I really like how the eyes turned out, especially the peak of glitter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you live in New Zealand and Australia, please check out Carousel Cosmetics because based on what I've tried so far, it's very affordable, it's very blendable and kind of pigmented. I was actually quite shocked with the quality of the eyeshadows. So yeah. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates. I hope you like this chatty shop my stash type of thing. Please leave me a comment down below on other videos you wanted to see me next. And I have a full face of one brand coming up. So please stay tuned and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.